been a continuation of, of the work that we've done with Thrive On Technology here at Scott for 2020. I'm standing in front of our, our Lagos bug evaluations. This is a, a, a trial that we planted in large plots. It is meant to be complementary to the other work we've, we've been talking about on the tour. What we've got out here is we've got a Thrive On Technology containing candidate variety. We've got Delta Pine 1646 side by side. They're planted in plots that range from about five to six acres each, which is a large block of technology. So effectively, you've got six treatments out here in the field. What we've done is we have an untreated check, which has received no Lagos bug applications at all in both varieties and both technologies. We have a plant-based threshold, which is meant to be treated based on the standard extension thresholds for plant-based uh, Lagos bug applications and the decision making to make those applications. And we have another one that is treated on, on the insect based thresholds. So it's the presence of nymphs, adults, and Lagos bugs in the field that determine those applications. All of those thresholds are dynamic through the year and we change as appropriate for the agronomic status of the crop. It's a good learning opportunity about a new technology that we don't know all the answers to yet. There are lots of components to consider when we build a research program like this and start thinking about the data we're going to collect. A lot of this is done because typically it's a very dynamic decision making process that a grower and consultant uses when they decide to control or not to control lagus bugs in a cotton field. It is likely that new technologies such as Thrive On technology will have some impact on the way that the insects behave, the way they move, their ability to reproduce, some direct mortality, and all of the things that are interrelated to those decisions. So what we've done in this particular case is we've got the direct comparison of the technology, number one. That's, that's a pretty easy, easy uh, set of experiments to describe. We've also got those plant-based and insect-based thresholds because they best mesh the commercial experience today, and they're gonna let us learn about how the technology fits into the system.